What a blessing it is to be here. Love you guys. Um, we just want to kind of backtrack our story just to encourage you guys. If you're in a storm, if you're, you feel like the boat is getting filled with water, uh, when we were going in to find out the baby's gender, um, the doctor kind of like, the nurse was kind of doing the ultrasound and kind of stopped and said, well, I can't take some of these pictures. You guys need to go to a specialist. So we were kind of like stunned, like, okay, well, we, like boy or girl? And they're like, oh, it's a boy, but you need to go see a specialist. So we're like concerned, like what's, what's going on? But they wouldn't really disclose anything. We go to the specialist, and now that became the journey of hearing news after news of how our, what they wanted to say our baby had was one in a billion chance of this you know, deformation, they can't see arteries, there's nothing there, the baby is only sustained on mom, and when it comes out, there's, there's really no hope. So we kind of looked at each other, and we looked at our grandparents and everybody around, and we're like, we just got to believe for a miracle, because that's the only thing we can do, right? So I would ask statistics, right? And the first day, they gave us this, like, booklet of what it is. Maddie took it, she threw it away, and said, nope, not my baby. I, I don't, I still... Still to this day, I, I don't even know what the um, name of it is. Like, I was telling Sam this morning, I was like, what are we going to tell them he had? Because I don't even know what he had. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I can't even pronounce it, but basically, it's, uh, basically there were supposed to be two arteries. There's one, and then all the uh, little arteries that go from the heart to the lungs, they were just not there. They were so small that they were like, and then once it gets born, they're going to shrivel up, and the baby's going to be blue and pass away. At the beginning, they say it's not going to make through birth. So you got to really consider whether you guys want to give up the baby. And we kept looking at each other, and like we got phone calls after phone calls every day. Hey, you guys have like two weeks left before legally you can give up this baby. And we'd be like, and we didn't disclose a lot of this to our family, and you know, just because it was, it was a lot to take. And they would just keep calling us, calling us. Social services was calling us. Remember, you can't give up the baby after this date. State of Washington has. So we were just like, no, we're going to keep them. We don't care. We're going forward. Then like, well, you definitely need to do this genetical uh, test because there may be some you know, things wrong with its DNA. We're like, we're okay. Thank you. Um, so every time we went into the doctor's office, we were hoping, Jesus, this is the time. We prayed. You're going to give us good news. It was not good news. And we're like, okay, God, we're going to go back and we're going to believe. We're just going to wait on you. We know you are a healer. We know in the Bible you've done it to everybody that we can read, from the lady who was begging and she just wanted crumbs. We're no less than that, God. So we literally put our faith on him. Um, in, in the meantime, Maddie is just continuously buying furniture for the baby. And I'm looking at the bills, and I'm like, Maddie, uh, what's going on? She's like, I'm going to have this baby. In fact, we need a new apartment because I need a two-bedroom. And I said, okay, well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to believe on that faith. So we just, every time we went in there, the doctors would say something. Maddie started saying, nope, I don't want you to call it my baby, this condition. Just call this condition whatever you want. Don't our chi child, yeah, don't put it on our child because our child is healed and perfect. Oh, man, I could be running on stage right now, but so do you have anything else to add? I mean, we would come here, and when we were getting this news, I remember I would stand back there, and I'd say, one day I'm going to be here. One day I'm going to be on stage. I'm going to be with my baby, and we're going to be sharing his testimony. We're going to be sharing Amen. how good our God is. Amen. He can do all things, all things, all things. Man, don't tell me he's not good. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Our God did what no doctor could no, say it could no, do. No. Every time we said, but Jesus, mm -hmm. they would say, no, 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 science. And we're like, oh, okay. I was 10 centimeters dilated, arguing with a doctor who's a heart specialist. And he's like, what do you mean? What are you going to do? We need to take him. We need to take him to Seattle Children's right when he's out. And I'm like, no, you understand. I know Jesus is going to be here for him. He created him. He's coming out perfect. He's coming out whole. Yeah. And he said, what are you talking about? I was like, do you not know what we believe in here? And I was like, you know what? Just wait. And he came so, out. so they come and they say, okay, it's going to come out, but this is what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. And we're just going to leave the room yeah, because we can't crazy. support you at that point. And then I'm looking at him like, you can't even just stand around. He's like, no, if you make this decision legally by law, I have to sign papers that you have decided you want no help, mm -hmm. medical help. So we said, okay, well, you know, then it got time where we're just like believing God. Okay, this is it. The baby's going to come. And the baby came. The baby started, you know, they put it immediately when they put it on Maddie, started breastfeeding what they said that he could not do, was not blue, was breathing, defeated all odds. 
then, and then they, they weigh him, and he's seven pounds, seven ounces. I mean, I don't want to say numbers or anything, but let's just give that one to God. So then nurse after nurse started coming in, and this is no disrespect to anyone who's in the medical field because we love them, we appreciate them, but that's, they, they tell us what they know. They tell us what they've been, they, but, yeah, what they've been taught, but we've been taught a better word. We've been taught who to really rely on when the world has turned our back. So this is not degrading any medical, like they, they are here, they're helping, they're supporting, we love them, but we have just got a better word. We know the one who is Jehovah Rapha. We know the great physician, and that's all we stood on. So nurse after nurse, what they're coming in, like, should we get you hospice care? Should we get you guys the pal- uh, what was it, like the... Um, The chaplain, right? The chaplain of the hospital to come talk to you guys because this is really like last moments that you guys are spending with the baby. We're just kind of like giving you guys your space. He's one month today, by the way. Oh, yeah. Today's his one month birthday. But, you know, so randomly all these events happened uh, to line up. Um, We basically made the decision we're just going to take the baby home with us. Like, thank you very much. We love you guys. But they're, like, sitting here and just having you guys come tell us what is supposed to happen, which is not going to happen, is where we signed paperwork, took the baby home. They, the next day, right, the next day after it was born, uh, didn't get, like, the, we didn't even know how to change diapers. They didn't give us a diaper bag kit. Okay, you did. I didn't know. <laughs> That's my fault. Never mind. Take that out of the <laughs> equation. That had nothing to do with the miracle. Um, so, yeah, we took them home. And then they wanted a follow-up. We went to the follow-up, and they did more uh, intensive looking at the baby. And then they said, okay, well, we're starting to see some arteries that we didn't see. So now we know that the baby is going to live, and the procedure is not, when they gave us, like, zero chance the baby would survive. There was nobody that had this condition that survived. Now they're like, okay, well, there is a procedure. It's not as crazy. We're seeing these arteries forming. And we said, if we slap death in the face... With Jesus, we can definitely slap this one as well for surgery. So we're just believing. We want you guys to believe with us. We know God is a finisher. He is the author and finisher of everything that he does. So, yeah, more miracles to come. Yeah. Yes, please come. Pastor Keith, come, please. Please. Andrea, you prayed. You, you prayed for them before. So I want to I tell you uh, part of this. One Sunday morning here, Darren got, uh, just started spewing out things about, you know, words of knowledge. And so it was a, there was a wonderful atmosphere of God, and, and I hadn't met you guys yet. And, and I was kind of uh, wonky. And, you know, I was my, like, where am I? And Andrea grabs me and drags me to the back of, back of the church where these two are and began to pray, you know, for you guys. And first I ran into your mom, and it was like I didn't, wasn't sure I was going to be able to stand up after that. But, but there's such an anointing back there to pray, you know, to pray for that, that baby. And so, um, Lord, we just, wow, God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And what's the child's name? Noah. Oh, of course. <laughs> Out of the waters. <laughs> All right. So, Father, we just thank you for Noah. And, God, we lay hold, first of all, we lay hold of Noah's destiny. We lay hold of that which you have written in a book before there was ever one of his days. And we say, we agree, we declare, we proclaim every single thing in that book that God Almighty has written shall come to pass. We thank you, Father, in power and in glory and in wisdom, even wisdom beyond uh, his age, God, uh, his normal age, God, that Noah will walk in wisdom. Noah will will walk as a deliverer from all kinds of things on this earth. Noah will be able to build, carve out a place in the spirit, God, just like Noah did before. We thank you for his destiny, his purpose, God. We thank you, Lord, for health in his, uh, in all around his heart. 
We speak life and uh, original intent to every uh, artery, every ligament, every tendon, to his heart, God, to his lungs, to every organ in Noah's body. We call it healthy. We call it whole. We, we say life, life, life to Noah in the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. So when you said Noah, I just about fell over because I'm like, whoa, Jesus. Because it's for such a time as this. It's for such a time as this. Noah means rest. And if you, if you spell the word backwards in Hebrew, it means grace. It's chen. So it's like I just believe that he is the miracles. As Noah believed God, you guys, your, her, your heritage is like that there's just going to be such great faith. So just bless you guys. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen. And I just want to say, you know, Noah looked foolish in the eyes of men. He looked so foolish. And I'm sure the doctors and nurses thought that you were so foolish when you were the way you were believing and until it started raining until it started raining, and he didn't look foolish anymore. And so, Father, we pray for the rain of heaven over this child right now. We pray that you would rain down upon this child, Father, from heaven with your healing power, Lord God. You love this family. You love the story that was told from this stage today, Lord God. Father, I thank you for your amazing, wonderful, miracle power, Lord God. And we just pray that it would come right now over this child, Lord God, bringing complete restoration to every artery, to every vein, Lord God that the doctors be astounded in the days and months and years to come and they could not deny that this was a miracle from heaven, Lord. So we thank you for Noah, Lord God. We pray, we bless his life, Lord. We bless the years that are before him in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Awesome, bro.